We come to you guys with some breaking wrestling news and speculation, firstly regarding some interesting news about Vince McMahon, who has apparently been in contact with two major WWE stars since his unceremonious departure from WWE, which resulted in Vince quite literally being banned from even being mentioned in the company amid the Janelle Grant allegations. A recent article published by NBC News has basically confirmed that Vince has been in contact with The Rock and John Cena since his departure from WWE, with a blurb from the article being, quote, Since he resigned, McMahon has been in touch with Dwayne, The Rock, Johnson, and John Cena, sources said. Johnson and Cena, both Hollywood superstars, are two of WWE's biggest success stories. Publicly, Johnson has thanked TKO and WWE executives regarding his addition to the TKO board earlier this year. In February, February, Cena told the radio host Howard Stern that, "...the whole thing is super unfortunate and it sucks," while noting that he loves McMahon and has a great relationship with him. But in the same breath, he added at the time, "...I'm also a big advocate of accountability. Cena and Johnson are both represented by the William Morris Endeavor Agency, which is part of Endeavor Group, the majority owner of TKO." A spokesperson for Johnson declined to comment. A representative for Cena didn't respond to requests for comment. Following this article from NBC, a spokesperson for Janelle Grant put out this statement following the news that The Rock and John Cena have been in contact with Vince McMahon amid these horrendous allegations, quote, It's shameful that Mr. Johnson and Mr. Cena would associate themselves with an individual with decades of allegations just like Janelle's. Behind-the-scenes support is louder than any public statement ever could be. Another noteworthy bit of info regarding Vince McMahon from this latest article is that McMahon apparently hasn't talked to Triple H or Stephanie McMahon regarding any company matters since his resignation. Quote, Multiple WWE insiders said he hasn't had any contact with company leaders and figureheads since he resigned. Mark Shapiro, the operating chief of WWE parent company TKO Group Holdings, said in March that McMahon doesn't work for the company, doesn't come into the office, and he's not coming back to the company. That also means McMahon hasn't talked to his son-in-law, WWE creative chief and former superstar Paul Triple H Levesque, or daughter Stephanie McMahon Levesque, regarding company matters, sources said. While she introduced WWE's WrestleMania event earlier this month, McMahon Levesque, who worked beside her father for more than 20 years and played roles in storylines, currently has no involvement with the company according to people familiar with the matter. Levesque and McMahon Levesque declined to comment through a spokesperson, as did a WWE representative. Now honestly, it's a bit surprising that the likes of The Rock and John Cena have reportedly been in contact with Vince McMahon amid all of these horrific allegations. But personally, our biggest thing here is that we hope Vince McMahon doesn't have contact with WWE's creative or has any power secretly that we aren't aware of, because Triple H has been doing a phenomenal job as WWE's head of creative over the past few months leading up to WrestleMania 40, and it would be a real shame if Vince still has an influence somehow in creative to challenge Hunter on his ideas and plans. Because if The Rock and John Cena have been in contact with Vince, it really wouldn't surprise us if McMahon has also been in contact with some key executives as well, and honestly, we can now consider The Rock a key executive in WWE, as he's a member of the board of directors of TKO. We now come to you guys with some breaking wrestling news and speculation regarding Cody Rhodes' status in WWE as the Undisputed Champion, and if new behind-the-scenes reports are true, Cody's run as the Undisputed Champ could be coming to an abrupt end in the near future. Now, a lot of wrestling fans were firmly behind Cody Rhodes heading into WrestleMania 40, and wanted the American Nightmare to finish his story and capture the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship, and that's exactly what happened when it was all said and done, with Cody essentially ushering in a new era in WWE after putting an end to Roman Reigns' historic title run. However, one of our sources has mentioned that while that moment of Cody Rhodes finishing his story was amazing all around, and a great booking call, there are reportedly some key executives within WWE who are not happy with Cody Rhodes being the undisputed champion, and fear that having Cody as champion may cause viewership and ratings to drop following WrestleMania 40, specifically when it comes to Friday Night SmackDown, which is the brand Cody is currently featured on for the most part, besides the odd appearance on Monday Night Raw. Here's what one of our insider sources had to report regarding the sentiment of some key WWE executives regarding Cody as champion, and why it could be problematic for WWE, and the possible shocking action WWE could take to get the title off of Cody Rhodes, quote, 
We have been told that some within WWE feel like The Rock being a part of the Roman Reigns, and Cody Rhodes' storyline heading into WrestleMania 40 was the main reason as to why Cody was so over, and why so many wrestling fans wanted Rhodes to finish his story, and now that The Rock's gone from WWE for the time being, not to mention Roman Reigns as well, there is fear in WWE that now that the dust has settled and the high from Cody's win at WrestleMania 40 is beginning to wear off, fans are already beginning to show signs of turning on Cody Rhodes as being the undisputed champion. One source mentioned that some in WWE are getting cold feet about featuring Cody as the flagship champion, with some reportedly believing Cody's a bit bland or boring when The Rock's not involved with the story, which is why Triple H could be forced to make a big change. There is a rumor that WWE could be planning to have Cody Rhodes forced to vacate or relinquish the undisputed championship, likely caused by The Rock returning and storyline injuring Cody Rhodes, with Cody then being forced by Triple H to give up the title. With some in WWE feeling like this is the only way out of Cody being champion right now, without him losing the belt which would result in a lot of backlash for WWE, and Cody being forced to vacate and give up the title, would likely result in The Rock having a transitional run as undisputed champion for a big ratings boost before he finishes up his current run. The plan was not to have Cody Rhodes as undisputed champion this early in 2024 at all, as the original plan was, The Rock going over Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40, and then The Rock working a storyline as champion with Cody Rhodes for SummerSlam, and now there is concern that WWE feel they made the wrong choice having Cody finish his story and become champion, and that like we mentioned, it won't be long before fans turn on Cody, who some in WWE feel doesn't have the substance and story to sustain a successful and lengthy title run, aside from finishing his story, which is already over. We've heard that WWE are basically willing to wait a couple of weeks and gauge how fans are reacting and responding to Cody Rhodes as undisputed champion, before making any major decisions regarding Cody's title run, but if Cody's momentum starts to noticeably dwindle as the weeks progress. Following WrestleMania 40, don't be surprised if Triple H is forced to take action at the request of high-ranking WWE executives to get that undisputed title off of Cody Rhodes and on The Rock, with Cody likely then being forced to vacate the belt following a storyline injury of some kind. Let us know down in the comments section below your thoughts on some concern within WWE about Cody Rhodes as undisputed champion, and do you feel like fans are or will start to turn on Cody as the flagship champion on SmackDown, and that it would be a good call to basically have Rhodes vacate the undisputed championship to save ratings? Let us know. Well guys, that's it for today's major wrestling news. Make sure you leave a like and comment Comment, and also make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you'll never miss out on an episode. Finally, if you haven't already, give us a follow on Twitter at TSE Wrestling, and we will see you guys in the next video.